Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's continue with the third example of the expression. As I mentioned earlier, in this example, we want to control the flow rate based on the temperature. So it means this expression will check the temperature of this battery cell. If it will be higher than or lower than the desired value or the target value, it will assess the flow rate accordingly. So it is a little bit complexer problem. So for simpler expression, you can watch initial two examples. I will provide the link in the comment below or in the description. So let's continue with the expression. First thing first, whenever you are writing an expression, always start by writing a rough algorithm in a text file or on a notepad. It will give you an idea how your expression will be constructed and how you are going to implement in the Fluent. Let's uh, write our expression over here by writing our requirement. As I said, we want to control the temperature of the battery cell. Let's call it target temperature. So we need target temperature, let's say 40 degree Celsius. Then uh, we have our initial flow rate. So let's call it uh, flow initial. Uh, I would start with two gram per second. Okay. Then uh, what we want to do actually so after every 10 iteration, the system will check the temperature of this one. We'll compare if the temperature is uh, lower than 40 degrees Celsius, then it will decrease the flow rate so that the temperature of the battery cell will increase. Or if the temperature of battery cell would be higher, it will decrease the, sorry, it will increase the flow rate to further cool it down. So it means that's why we have our target temperature, we have our flow rate. We want it to check the temperature after every 10 iteration. So for that we need a if statement. So what we want to do. So for first initial 10 iteration, we don't want to change the flow rate. So it means initially we will give 2 gram per second. After 10 iteration it will check and change or not depending upon the condition. So for iteration less than 10, flow rate if the iteration would be less than 10. So the flow rate should not change. So it means our flow rate should be initial, flow initial, right? Or after 10 iteration, the flow rate should change. So let's call it M flow modified. So it means for first 10 iteration, the flow rate will not change. It will use 2 gram per second. And after 10 iteration, it will be modified. Now we need to see how this uh, flow rate should be modified. So these are all uh, expression that we will be adding in the Fluent one by one. We could add uh, side by side or we can do it later. Okay, let's add all these side by side so that you know what we are doing uh, okay graphical window yes so here our simulation case so we have two battery cells fluid is entering from here and it is leaving on this side so on both of these uh, battery cell i have provided heat source that uh, you can also see from here how much heat is uh, provided so it is uh, this much watt per cubic meter so because we have to provide heat in cubic per meter, so it is uh, approximately two or three watt per battery cell. I don't know, I have to check, but uh, you can get by dividing by its volume. So if you will multiply this number with its volume, so it will, you will get in watt. How you do that, so maybe you are already aware. So for that, you always go to the cell zone, solid. You go to the cell. And when you check this heat source, you would see over here heat source and here is your heat source so here you have used expression so that's it so same condition have been applied on the cell 2 so now we want to apply these conditions so let's start with the t target by 
defining our name expression. So first we want to have our T target. Mm, I think we can use capital. Okay, T target, yes, uh, 40 degrees Celsius, or you can provide in Kelvin, 313.15. Kelvin. So it is 40 degrees Celsius. So, so if you refresh, you will also get the current value. So we have defined our target uh, flow rate, uh, sorry, target temperature. Then uh, we need to define our uh, flow initial that uh, we will be giving to gram per second. Right. So whatever unit you can provide if you would say kg per second so you have to give 0 0.002 so it is converting into SI units two gram per second then what was our third condition if attrition less than 10 so we can simply copy this one so okay the formatting so flow initial okay and uh, let's call flow in so we are saying whatever flow it is going in. So if attrition is less than 10, so if, if this condition is true, use flow initial. If it is false, then use this one. So our entire effort would be would be focused to define this M flow modified. And you are seeing this one is red. It means there is an error and you can see M flow modified is not defined. So that's why you're getting this error. So it is fine. So we will define this one M flow modified. So let's call it OK. So what we want to do, as I said, we want to check the temperature of this battery cell. So it means during simulation, we have to extract the temperature of this battery cell, average temperature. How can we do that? We can do this by report definition. We can do it directly, but uh, I would prefer do it uh, in report definition because it will be much easier. I have already done over here, but uh, let me delete this one. So how you do report definition for that? I have detailed video for that about report definition. You can check it later. I will provide the link in the description. But anyway, how you would do that? You will go to the report definition new and volume report and you need to define volume average temperature volume average when you will go over here here you can give it a name i'm not going to define i will just show you then you will say okay volume average already here and then you will select temperature and we want to select for cell 2 i'm not going to do that why because i have already here so i just call it current temperature so i have just given it a given it a name current temperature volume average Temperature total and static is same and it is for cell 2 because that's our target cell that we want to compare with the 40 degrees Celsius. And here I have activated report plot. It means we will also plot this temperature during the simulation over here. So we have defined current temperature that we want to compare with the target value. The other thing we also want to check the current flow rate at every iteration we want to extract flow rate because flow rate would be changing and we want to see what is the current flow rate at uh, the current iteration how you can do that you can also do that with the report definition i have already done that but anyway how you can do that you will go to the new uh, flux report and you will say mass flow rate so you can call it uh, current flow or whatever name you would like so current flow okay i'm just defining again for you we don't want to report plot or file and we need a flow rate at outlet temperature and you will say okay and we have this current flow over here so both are same this one and this one because i have already defined so but i did it again to show you how you can do that. Ah, sorry. Yes, it should be at inlet here. I have just made a small mistake. I said at the outlet, but it should be at the inlet. For that, we can do something else. So we can 
take the sum just to check the net flow at every iteration just as a fun or to see the convergence of the flow rate and we want to plot this one okay so we have defined our uh, current temperature current flow rate this report definition you can call these things also in named expression so coming back now what uh, we need to define as i said uh, we have need to define this m flow modified so how we would do that so we have two condition that we need to check first condition is uh, for the iteration we don't want to change every iteration but at every 10th iteration secondly we want to check the temperature if it is lower than or higher than or equal to current temperature so first let's apply the condition for the iteration how you would do that that again we can do with the if condition and there is uh, one function which is called mod mod is like uh, it uh, so let first let me write then i will tell you mod iteration iteration is the internal variable so it is the current iteration so iteration comma 10 so what this function will do so it will take the iteration it will divide it by 10 and it will check if the residual is zero so it means if it will be 20 so residual will be zero so if condition will be satisfied if iteration will be 25 the residual will be 5 so condition will not be satisfied so that's how mode will work so it just the division and check the residual if it is zero or not for m flow modified we want to use if mode iteration comma divided by 10 is equal to zero if it satisfy then uh, you can use uh, the let's call it because uh, we need a few things so let's give it an error or let's call it x we can change it later x so if it satisfy then change the flow rate what it should be that we will see and this one is equivalent to this one right x if this condition is satisfied it should be x otherwise whatever current flow rate that we have defined in our fluent otherwise use the m flow current uh, m flow current so let's copy this one and paste in a new one so now we need to go to the name expression and we will copy paste this entire thing over here and what should be the name of this one it should be m flow modified okay it is given giving an error with the x y because x is also an internal variable so let's call it m flow conditional so again it is showing m flow conditional is not defined that we will define in next step and what is m flow current m flow current is the report definition what we have defined over here so you can see how you can do that if you just simply write so it will show you m flow and it is current like that otherwise you can also go over here and all those report definition are available on the right side report definition and this mode function these are also available over here so these function are all function are available so there are a lot of functions so constant values expressions so we are using uh, where is mode should be here yeah here is mode square root and a lot of function are there so we have defined so m flow conditional and now we need to define m flow conditional why i did like that because one condition we have defined but uh, still we did not say how it should behave with the temperature so that's why it is going into the steps so let's say okay so again it is showing invalid uh, that's okay m flow modified and okay m flow modified is not defined m flow modified yes it is okay I will stop here and we will continue with the rest of the portion in the second part of the video. Thank you.